Hello. Did you know that it's six months this week since we first went into lockdown? And what a lot we've been through since then. I expect many of us at the start thought it would only be a few weeks, but that stretched into months. We might have thought that by the autumn, life would be getting back to some sort of normality. Little did we realise that we would still be suffering the effect now, and that in fact further restrictions would be announced this week. It's rather worrying to see the figures of new cases rising, the death toll going up again, and more people being, in, being admitted into hospital. Today we heard that one of our local schools has had to close for a fortnight as the head teacher has been diagnosed with the virus. We thought when we thought we were safe in Westbury, it's all coming rather close. We're being urged to abide by the restrictions, not to meet in large groups, to continue to observe all the guidelines and to persevere through these difficult and challenging times. Fortunately, as Christians, we have hope. It's good to get things into perspective and take stock of all that we can be thankful of. We have faith in God who loves us and cares for us. Jesus promised to be with us now and for all time. He came to bring us life and hope for the future. Just like the early disciples following Jesus' resurrection and ascension, we're living in the in-between times. Following Jesus' departure and the coming of the Holy Spirit, we are waiting for Jesus' return. One day when he will gather up his people and bring in his kingdom in all its fullness. In the meantime, we wait, watch and pray. We are at least still able to worship together. We can read our Bibles and find inspiration from Scripture to sustain us through these difficult times. Nobody can stop us doing these things. At least we're not being persecuted for our faith. Like many other Christians in many other countries around the world. And many of us have the technology to keep in touch with our families and friends and keep up with our interests and hobbies. Whilst we may feel a sense of anxiety about the current time, this is normal. We're living in unprecedented times, and if we're feeling anxious, frustrated that our plans are being thwarted, worried about what all this will mean for the future in terms of our health, our loved ones, our jobs and the economy, then all this is completely understandable. There is hardly an area of life which has been untouched by this crisis and we are going to be living with this for some time. But we are not without hope. As Christians we have a confident hope and expectation that God will keep his promises. He will never leave us nor forsake us. He is always there for, for us. And we can turn to him at any time with all our fears and concerns on our hearts and he will give us peace. I love these verses from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Even youths grow tired and weary and the young stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your promises to us in Jesus, that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Thank you for the hope we have in Christ, that whatever is going on in the world around us, you are with us, through the power of the Holy Spirit, that you continue to love us and guide us and protect us. We ask for your continued guidance and protection through these difficult times. Give us courage and keep us full of hope and trust in you. May we be thankful for the small mercies in life, for the everyday things which give us joy and pleasure. And may we grow in our faith 
knowledge and love for you, this and every day. Amen.